West Virginia's Attorney General Patrick Morrissey makes a major announcement in the effort to protect women and girls in sports. Morrissey will be taking the Save Women's Sports Act to the Supreme Court to overrule a lower court's decision. And joining us now is <coughs> Attorney General Morrissey himself uh, with more on his fight to preserve uh, female opportunities and private spaces. Uh, good morning, Attorney General. Thank you for joining us here on One America News. Uh, let's start to uh, with you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, let's start by uh, breaking down the Save Women's Sports Act. Uh, you've got critics saying that this is an anti-trans law. What exactly does it entail? First, uh, the law doesn't even mention the word transgender because what it's trying to do is ensure that there are separate sports teams. And the only critical thing is that they're trying to distinguish those sports teams on the basis of biological sex, which makes a lot of sense. Men play on men's sports teams, girls play on girls' sports teams, and that decision is made based upon biology and sex. It's rational, it's backed up by the science. On average, men are stronger and faster and produce a higher levels of performance. And so for uh, the court to set this aside is wrongheaded in every way. That's why we decided that we're taking this up to the U.S. Supreme Court because we think that they'll have a much greater interest in setting this aside. This was a two to one decision by a very aggressive court. We believe that the one dissenting opinion provides a very good amount of information to take this up to the high court. And I think we've got a great chance of winning. And yes, uh, with that being said, could you explain the lower court's uh, ruling a little bit more here? Now, you stood alongside uh, American swimmer uh, Riley Gaines uh, yesterday at that press yeah. conference. Uh, you both said that you provided uh, 3,000 pages of evidence here that boys and girls are different. Uh, did the court disagree? Yes, so it's interesting because in the district court level, uh, the district court judge originally slapped an injunction on the law, and then we went to work. We submitted 3,000 pages, 500 docket entries. Eventually, that district court judge, not known to be a conservative, he literally turned his position around and said it was constitutionally permissible to segregate the sports teams on the basis of biological sex. Then the case moved to the Fourth Circuit. Unfortunately, you had two very aggressive judges. We have uh, two uh, appointments from Democrat administrations to the one other, and they came out with it wrong. It's very, very unfortunate. And so that's why we want to take this up to the Supreme Court. Look, there's a lot at stake here. Uh, what this court decision in the Fourth Circuit does, it's trying to blur all these distinctions between men and women, make it about gender identification. But at the end of the day, people know when you're trying to set up sports teams, when you're trying to look at locker rooms, when you're looking at changing rooms, when you're looking at privacy, it's absolutely reasonable and permissible for the legislature to say, yes, that should be segregated on the basis of sex. We do not want hulking males walking around locker rooms. We do not want hulking males be able to push our little girls around. And I'm going to keep fighting this all the way uh, to the bitter end. And Attorney General, uh, moving forward here with, uh, if the Supreme Court uh, rules in your favor here as you continue to fight here, uh, but the changes being made by the Biden administration to Title IX are finalized, do states have any recourse here to protect girls? We do. In fact, uh, the case that we're involved in right now in the Fourth Circuit, Fourth Circuit ruled on Title IX grounds. We think that they're wrong. So we think that this is going to be part of what goes up to the Supreme Court. Separately, there are a group of states who will be filing a lawsuit against the Biden administration on their Title IX ridiculousness. That's going to happen very soon as well. I mean, these are really big issues because they fundamentally corrupt uh, the differences between men and women. They'll take opportunities away uh, from women. Uh, all we're looking for is basic decency and fairness, and we're not going to let the Biden administration or any of the courts take that away from us. And Mr. Morrissey, you said that uh, this is one of the most important cases uh, that your office has ever <coughs> handled. Uh, what's your message to women and girls, not only in West Virginia, but uh, throughout our country? Look, I think what happened in Bridgeport last week where five courageous young women 
stepped out and said that they were not going to participate in the track meet because of the advantage that the biological male had in the shot put. I thought that was absolutely amazing. And I'd like to see beyond the legal efforts that we have, I'd love to see uh, girls across the country step out and say, absolutely no. We need to make this a national issue where people just say enough is enough. This is so ridiculous that we have to be in court uh, arguing these issues. This is not discriminatory on the trans side. It's trying to empower women, create opportunities for women. And I'm hopeful America sees this and they respond. All right, uh, West Virginia Attorney General Patrick Morrissey on the fight uh, for the Save Women Sports Act as he takes that fight all the way to the Supreme Court. Thank you for joining us here on One America News. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard-hitting, straight-shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.